In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we continue to celebrate these mysteries, we recall to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph at, as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of <clears throat> St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child, Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but volunteer. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother. Beloved, especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me, as if he has done you any injustice, and if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self. Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ, the word of the Lord. Psalm, blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help so, is the God so of Jacob. Jesus. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed, Blessed is, is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. O God, O Zion, through all generations. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. 
Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the, when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The kingdom of God cannot be observed. And no one will announce, Look, it is here, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to the disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, here it is. Look, there he is. Or look, there, he, there here it, he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. When we often hear the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, but what is the kingdom of God? So the Pharisees asked Jesus today about the coming of the kingdom of God. The Pharisees had ideas for sure of what the kingdom, this kingdom of God would be. The kingdom of God for them would be the reign of peace and joy in the land of Israel, God's chosen people. And the powerful enemies of Israel would soon be gone that people might be free, free to worship God as their true king. But Jesus was not only the bearer of this good news of this kingdom of God, he came not only to bring them hope to wait for God's kingdom, moreover and also Jesus came to change people's minds and hearts about what and how and who this kingdom of God would be. Jesus said a lot of things about the kingdom of the kingdom that changed many hearts. He said that the greatest person in God's kingdom was the weakest. The people of God's kingdom are the ones who love the one who denies himself or herself for the sake of another. The one who serves others. He also said that the people who respond with love to those who have wronged them are the ones who are true citizens of this kingdom. The kingdom that he would want to establish. As far as the Pharisees were concerned, this might be an upside-down kingdom. This is unacceptable. They have lived their years trying to fight power. But Jesus goes further by saying that he was not only announcing the kingdom, but rather he claims, and rightly so, in so many ways, that he is the kingdom. This was problematic at the time of Jesus because Jesus was the opposite of what their concept of kingship was. Jesus was not a king who fought their enemies and sinners with fear, with hatred, and with worldly power. Rather, Jesus was a king who subjected himself to the powers of this world in order to bring up a world to a higher plane, a higher place, 
the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God in our world today, you ask? The kingdom of God would be there when a person acts and lives as Jesus taught them to act and to live. The kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom of God is among us when we learn how to act by way of sacrificial love and reconciliation, when we learn how to react positively to God's mercy as Jesus did against the strange powers of the kingdom of men and women. The kingdom of God is that where people defeat the culture of death with that of the culture of life and sacrificial love, a kingdom of service, a kingdom of love, a kingdom of sacrifice. With trust and hope in the Lord's goodness and mercy, let us bring before him our petition of the church and all the world. For the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the church's public witness and commitment to ending racism, let us pray to the Lord. For government officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in discerning actions that best serve the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are elderly or homebound, may the Lord's compassion bring them peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. For young people in this community and beyond, may the Lord continue to nurture, nurture their faith and draw them closer to himself. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, especially for Kenneth Kelly, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they find rest with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we lift to God our petitions. Loving and faithful God, hear these prayers we have brought before you with sincere hearts and answer them in accordance with your divine will. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Josephat professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. And we, with the host of angels, cry out. And without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray as brothers and sisters. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life. For the Lord say the word and my soul. For those of us joining us online, let us pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.